top of the morning to you lads and welcome back to another video guys so in today's video as you can tell by the title it is a 30,000 mile review of the Mustang guys so literally uh it's been uh almost two years now since I've had the car yeah it's been a journey guys um if you guys have been keeping with the channel and if you guys are new to the channel this is my 2017 Mustang EcoBoost guys um uh, if you guys want a mod list, there's a mod list video of everything I've done to it so far. But I'm gonna give you guys my impressions and how it's been, what it's been like to own this car for 30,000 miles, 30,000 true miles. I bought this car brand new from uh, a dealership out in Orange County, guys. Now that I've owned the car for 30,000 miles, I'm gonna give you guys my impressions on it. So let's go ahead and head outside. And um, I can give you guys a walk around and what I feel, what I think of, of the car. So let's go ahead and go outside. Okay guys, we come up to the front of the car. As you can clearly see, it is a base model Mustang EcoBoost, guys. Manuals, transmission, six speed. It's fun to drive. These wheels are technically aftermarket, but they are off of another Mustang. I um, love these things to death. But um, the front of the car, is so aggressive and nice I love it um, I did black out the pony here you guys really can't see that but obviously there's nothing there on camera but the body lines on this thing are so sexy guys I love the only thing I hate about it is when I'm detailing it right here it's kind of hard to get the buffer in but the hood is honestly the best looking hood I have seen in a long time on a car kind of like a sports car yeah. um, the side profile of the car guys is phenomenal i love it the way it swoops from the door down kind of like a little um i don't know like a valley right there the side skirts and the front lip of the car make the car look so aggressive the only thing i wish they did have on this one because i didn't get the performance pack was the rear valence the rear valence i mean it's pretty much a regular rear valence right here so i mean you can guess in uh clearly see that <laughs> but um man the car i love it we're gonna do the outside and then we'll do the inside um the tail lights if you guys know i already have the sequential tail lights for the car you guys can uh see that here so whenever i break and or um, unlock my car it, you know bloop. um <laughs> uh mcc big shout out to them we're gonna do some videos with them later on but i mean overall with the stock ride height, I kind of wish the ride height was the way it is now. If you guys uh, notice that I am lowered about an inch and a half all the way around uh, with some uh, Vogland lowering springs. Um, it's stage one tuned. It's beautiful. Um, this is just the front of the car so far that I'm kind of getting, getting deep down into. Uh, it's a beautiful car. I love it. This is my dream car that I've actually wanted. I've always really wanted a Mustang and i have it now you know it's been almost two years now thirty thousand miles that's obviously the video that we're doing but the one thing i hate that ford did with this car is the exhaust tips guys the exhaust tips are sad look at this this like it's the outer circle sorry the outer circle and there's like a little extra circle there but it is a true exhaust tip so yeah they kind of messed up on that design I do wish the the back brake light or reverse light was a little bit darker or not darker sorry lighter brighter but um that's gonna get changed soon but let's go into the trunk and check out the trunk space that I have in here uh I have stuff in here <laughs> but um it holds a lot of stuff um I have my towels I have birthday wrap and a broom for some reason uh, some clothes that I probably should probably take out but overall I mean I love this I love the trunk it has a lot of room when I did move from Arizona uh, I literally had all my whole life in the whole car so I mean that's amazing uh, pretty soon what's gonna happen to the car is gonna get ceramic coated finally after two years uh, it's gonna get ceramic coated guys um, if you guys want a quick mod list of what I've done to the car, like I said, slight aftermarket wheels. It's uh, lowered, uh, stage one tuned from Cobb. It has uh, a K&N drop-in filter. 
It has, uh, let's see what else, uh, window tint obviously. And uh, I think that's basically it so far. Uh, soon I'm gonna upgrade my brakes, hopefully. Uh, I know brake pads are gonna be coming soon. But that's basically it for the outside. I mean, it's a base model, it's a base model EcoBoost. I mean, what more can you want, want from that, you know? I really didn't want the whole technology inside of it and everything like that. So, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and hop in to the car and I'm gonna show you guys the visibility. I'm gonna show you guys the, you know, everything that's on the inside of the car that I like and that I'm glad that Ford did with the car. So let's go ahead and hop inside. So if you look inside, it is a mess. Uh, there is my six speed transmission right there. Uh, that is a aftermarket uh, shift knob. We have our basic cluster right here for our controls on our steering wheel. Uh, the seating is actually really, really nice. Uh, hopefully you guys are focused in here. But um, it's nice on the inside. Let's go ahead and hop in. I'm pretty sure you've seen plenty of times me in the car. But this is the regular sync uh, system inside the car. Little dash here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for a second so you can kind of see the little pony right there. Um, even if it's our cluster right here, they don't worry about these lights. They'll go off in a second. It's just because I'm on accessory mode. But the di the dash is awesome. I like you know everything. I, I don't really care about the whole like changing the color of the uh, cluster and everything. I mean, 160 miles an hour is what it says right here. It says ground speed right there. That is really, really cool that they did that. Um, like I said, almost 30,000 miles, guys. So uh, that's close enough. By the time this video goes up, I'll be well over that. But uh, 30,000 miles, I love it. Um, also, I like that they put this little plaque right here. 1964 was a good year for this car. Um, visibility like I'm putting the camera up to my head so what I'm seeing is exactly what you're seeing so if I want to look in my mirror right there it's actually tinted so you really can't see it but visibility in this car is actually really really great I don't mind it the back seat is actually filthy I can't hold anything back there like my back seat is so small I can barely hold anything back there I mean, I can stuff stuff back there, but it's like no big deal. Oh yeah, another thing that's gotten done to the car was my custom exhaust. Um, there would probably be a clip right here. I mean, other than that, the shift knob really set it off, set it off, sets off the car with the blue, how I have it. I also have some interior lighting as well, if it wants to turn on. There we go. I also have some interior lighting as well. You can't, you really can't see that, but it's, it's blue. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I have some interior lighting, kind of a ricer, but uh, that's. I mean, another little thing I've done, if you guys are longtime fans of the, of, the, of the channel, you guys would have seen that I have, uh, that was on my focus. Uh, but other than that, that's basically what's been done to the car. I mean, besides little things that I've done, besides little modifications that I've done, there's Pugarino for you longtime fans. You guys know he's always in the car with me. But other than that, that's basically it. My overall impressions of this car, I love this car to death. I would not trade it for the world. Another thing that I noticed about the car, this is lightning blue. This is not deep impact blue. This is not anything else like that. This is lightning blue. And they stopped making this color last year, I believe. So, oh, I think I got some dirt on the screen. But they stopped making this color. And then once they stopped making this color, I had a lot of offers from dealerships to come and trade my car in for something else because people wanted this color. And I guess I'm in the, the Ford database of having this color. And I guess it's a really rare color they only came out with in so many years. Just like Grabber Blue, only uh, GTs can get Grabber Blue. Uh, this is like a limited color, I guess you'd say. So uh, yeah, my lights are on right there, but <laughs> 
like I said, my overall impressions of this car, I love this car to death. Um, I paid a really good amount for it. I got a really good discount on it. And I've, I haven't regretted it yet since I've had this car. But overall, I love this car. Those are not my marks, by the way. <laughs> I love this car. I love the platform. I love the EcoBoost platform. I love the S550 body but I do not like the 19 body styles. I would not get a 19. If I were to get another car, it would have to be another 17 with this body style. Um, the 19s are cool. I mean, if you guys see my buddy's 19, it looks basically the same, but just a couple different uh, features and a couple different body style like improvements. But other than that, oh, I love, I love this body style. Like I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, this is gonna get changed soon, but that's all in due time. Uh, I do want to get different tips, but, oh, and those are aftermarket as well. Other than that, guys, I love it. I love this car. I love, you guys can check out the inside right there. I love this car. Like, you have no idea. Like, I don't let anybody drive my car. I take really good care of my car. You guys literally see in every detailing video I do, it's on this car. So this car stays clean. For the most part <laughs> uh, i do live out in the country here as you can see i i live out in the country kind of so it gets really dusty out here but other than that hi plane other than that this car has been phenomenal to me it's it's awesome um my my feelings about the 2.3 liter engine in it and the turbo in it I mean that could be for another video but I do love this engine this engine is by far the best engine that I've driven I mean yeah they can say that GTs are better but I mean if you want something light nimble and that you could possibly autocross and be cool with this is a good car and you can also take it to the drag strip I've seen a lot of uh, EcoBoost Mustangs killing people out on the track so this is a great great platform Man, if I can do it all over again, I would do the 30,000 miles different. Um, I would probably, actually, honestly, it wouldn't be even 30,000 miles now because I did drive back and forth to Arizona, which is like 500 miles each way. But anyway, man, I've been rambling. I love this car, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, please go ahead and like, subscribe for more videos uh, just like this. Um, I think the next video you guys are going to see is um, what's going to be going on this weekend at a carnival and car show out in Fresno, California. So, man, it's going to be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay focused, guys. Be safe. Like, subscribe, and everything. I'll catch you guys all later. Peace out.